dissecting the Balenciaga campaign. Ugh, what a story. We've all seen it. Children in a photo shoot for a 2023 spring uh, campaign for the luxury fashion brand. The blowback from the teddy bears, how they were dressed, and a lot of the other accoutrements in the photograph. So you can do a deep dive on that. Before we look back, let's just focus on our news story of today. Uh, in the Daily Mail tabloid, uh, they had an exclusive with the father of the British child model who posed in the campaign and said that the daughter, insisted that the daughter had a fantastic time. Also in the article stated that the, you know, the parents are heavily involved in this photo shoot. They're there all day and defended the photographer. We'll come back to that in a moment. But as a parent who had a daughter dabble in modeling, uh, we went to photo shoots in New York City. Uh, the parents were there, but you're not there. You know what I mean? Here's the photographer on Instagram making a statement. And as you can see here, following hundreds of hate mails and messages I received. You can check out his entire response on Instagram. It is a post and it's still live. So essentially he's saying he cannot comment on Balenciaga's choices. He doesn't want to touch that third rail of a huge brand. Um, so he's going to play it a little bit safe. But he's stressing here that he was not entitled whatsoever manner to choose the products, nor the models, nor the combination. And he also said he was hired just for his style, but the objects displayed are not in the hands of the photographer. So in my job as a crisis manager, I'm always looking for the tactics, the moves that work, the moves that don't work, or the trends that I see in crisis response. And a trend now that we are firmly planted in is that of silence, which is runs counter to what anyone should do in a crisis. Silence by shutting down an Instagram account. And even though we have a statement and in Instagram stories, it's another form of silence, okay? It is a 24 hour post, often white font on a very, very dark background, making it very difficult to copy and paste. Newspapers cannot link to it because it disappears and it's a broken link in a news story. So now we are firmly in the day and age of the Instagram story. Let's watch, but let's see if this silent response trend is going to keep working. Short term, it might be fine, but the reputation of Kim Kardashian, Bella Hadid, Nicole Kidman, the photographer, people who are associated with brands that do the silent treatment get hurt and brought into it just the same. Their reputations are hurt.